It is one of the most dangerous drugs on the planet. Stockpiles of fentanyl. Thousands of fentanyl pills. We've been seeing fentanyl. Fentanyl pills. And nearly every day, Phoenix police are taking it off the street. Literally, in this case, when a suspected dealer dumped their stash during a traffic stop in Maryville, or when Phoenix police officers found 166,000 fentanyl pills stuffed inside a spare tire. These pills, made to look like hydrocodone, are often fatally potent. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid and it is 100 times more potent than morphine. Which poses problems for Amanda Gallegos and her staff at the Phoenix Crime Lab. It's their job in toxicology to detect drugs in someone's system, whether it's a person accused of driving under the influence or any other crime. The type and amount of narcotics in someone's body is important in prosecution, and with fentanyl. The concentrations that you would see in the human body in a, in a blood specimen are very, very low. It's likely the number of intoxications and fatalities involving fentanyl are underestimated because traditional drug detecting technology is just not sensitive enough to find such low amounts of a drug until now. Using a technology called liquid chromatography, triple quadrupole mass spectrometry, or LC triple quad. So essentially that's a technology that is very, very sensitive and we're able to detect drugs at very low concentrations. Which can give law enforcement a better idea of what may be affecting a criminal's behavior. And in impaired driving cases where fentanyl is the only drug in someone's system, it could be the difference between prosecution or having the case thrown out completely. In the absence of being able to test for it, it would essentially look like there were no drugs present. So being able to identify it is helpful. Temper. Hopefully making our streets safer for drivers and our families safer in general. Seeing our team work together in order to make that happen has been very rewarding.